What's up everybody, it's me, James Cobalt again, and this is actually going to be a live stream because I can't be asked to do a vlog and edit and film and everything, or get dressed apparently because I'm still wearing my pyjamas, but yeah, cool. This is a DIY instrument that I made, I know it looks like shit, but I enjoy playing it. Um, it's got three strings with nice geared tuners. Um, that's the body. It uses um, ridge pins to secure the strings into here. And yeah, it's um, it's all based off of a Japanese shamisen, but with more sort of Indian sounds. There's sort of, there's a different ways of playing and holding it, which alter the sound a bit. Um, the most comfortable way to play is like this. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's sort of like the most basic way of playing it, for like a guitar. But if you hold it upright like this, and sort of perch this little thing on your knee, it actually gives out a lot more bass sounds. Because it sounds more full. So yeah, um, also as well, if you play it like this, you get a lot of the bass sounds with the hand here. It takes out the bass, so like... I have no clue why that is. I'm not really good with acoustics. There's loads of acoustic problems with it. Like, there's a hole here and here where the neck's secured in. Which means that not as much sound comes out the front as I'd like it to, so it's not as loud as I want, but you know. Um, use the guitar strings at the moment, because they're the few strings I had lying around. Um, thank you, Ellie. Um, again, talking to people in the live stream chat. Um, these strings are tuned... They should be in a D major power, a D power chord even, but I don't think they are at the moment. So yeah, it's sort of it's entirely fretless. There's no notes on the neck or anything, so it's just sort of all done by ear. Um, there are different ways of playing it though. Like I'm playing it now around with the pick because it's easy, so I can just. But it's really fun sliding on it as well. It has some cool effects to it. Um, the way you play it. Really, you use these strings here as drones, and this string is like a playing string, but like a sitar. But the sitar has five playing strings and um, sixteen non-playing strings. So these sort of this one will take the lead. Um, yeah. Another cool way to play is percussively, and you sort of perch on this thing so you can get all the bass sounds out of it. You can listen to that, there's loads of bass there. Sounds really punchy and nice.
I'll just use it as, and also sampling it the moment as a percussive instrument, because if you just sort of perch it here, like a cello, and do this, you do this one's like, you like loads of cool bass sounds, so you can like... heavy which is good um i don't know what type of wood it is it's sort of like a chip force kind of thing and the back is like a just like a really thin kind of boarding and the top is just sort of again sort of like a chip board a thin chip board that i screwed onto the top to secure it but the way of playing it is called claw hammer this is generally done on banjo but um use this finger here or this one depending on what your preference is and you hit and sort of hammer it like that so you know like so yeah um can also um you can also use like finger picks and stuff. Uh, where are my finger picks? The only finger pick I have on me at the moment is this one, which isn't really a pick. Which is actually really good for playing percussively with, but I haven't really got the hang of that. In here, they're in here. So like you can claw hammer by hitting the strings using a pick on your finger, so you can like... And it sort of stops your finger from, fingernails from getting destroyed. But yeah, um... Um, to answer Ellie's question, this what well, the, it was based on a Japanese instrument, but it sounds more like an Indian one. So like, it sounds like kind of like a ringy sitar effect. There's also harmonics on like a normal guitar as well. So like. The slight notes you can hear there. I don't know. Um, yeah, and now for a laugh, I'm going to try and tune it to the lowest notes I possibly can.
recorders don't play very well on that. Yeah, this has been some shit that I made. Um, I think it turned out pretty okay. I'm, I mean, I'm quite proud of how it turned out. Probably going to sample it at some point. Um, because I quite like the sound it gives out. I think it would be good for sampling. Anyway, yeah, that, that's all from me. Thank you very much and goodbye.